Now here's a look at today's top stories. I'm Kevin Barry. One of the survivors of the Kent State shootings, Alan Canfora, has died. Back on May 4th, 1970, Alan was shot by a National Guardsman while attending an anti-war protest. He survived and went on to become a prominent activist working to protect the legacy of the people that were killed that day. His family says he died after a short illness unrelated to COVID-19. He was 71 years old. A happy update tonight on a story we first brought you last week. A therapy dog that went missing has been reunited with his family. The dog named Frank was in a car when his, uh, with his owner when the vehicle was involved in a rollover crash on December 16th. Frank was ejected from the car and took off. His owner, Ashley, had trained him to be a therapy dog to help her cope with anxiety and depression. But after days of searching, Frank was spotted running across the street in Akron's Kenmore neighborhood. He was caught and reunited with his family this morning. He was cold and hungry. Otherwise, though, perfectly healthy. And the ice rink is now open at Rivergate Park. It's part of the new Winter River Fest hosted by Cleveland Metro Parks. Along with ice skating, there's also an igloo village. It's an outdoor beer garden with private igloos for rent. It's all open through January 18th. Here's Amisha Shade with a look at what's going on outside. I know I was a little excited today. We were back above freezing, finally back into the 40s. It felt great. Some of that snow starting to melt, making the roads a little more on the slushy and wet side instead of icy side. So that is good news. Temperatures stay fairly mild tonight compared to where we were last night in the teens. Mainly close to 40 for much of the night, then eventually dipping to the mid 30s as we get into the late night hours. Periods of mainly rain tonight, falling temps for Monday, light mix for your Monday morning, switching to a few light snow showers by the afternoon. We'll start off in the middle 30s, but end up in the low 30s likely around 3 to 4 p.m. So overall temperatures this week as we wrap up 2020 and spring into 2021 will be up and down. We'll be a little on the chilly side the first few days with the chance for some rain and snow, mainly rain for Wednesday and Thursday. Of course, New Year's Eve, but light mix possible for the first day of the new year. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.